Hey guys, welcome once again to another segment of TV Reviews, and this time we are talking about one of the most beloved cop dramas of all time, and considered by many to be one of the greatest TV shows of all time, HBO's The Wire. The Wire came out between 2002 and 2008, lasting for five seasons, and was created by showrunner and head writer David Simon, giving us a realistic portrayal of the war on drugs in the city of Baltimore by giving us a dual perspective of the drug dealers as well as the police. The series has been held as one of the greatest television shows of all time, and after watching this series, I definitely understand why. This is a realistic and gritty portrayal of the war on drugs that really wasn't seen at this time. We had gotten cop shows previously and we had gotten cop shows after, but none of these shows have really gone into the gritty details as HBO series The Wire, and I think a lot of that has to do with the people working on the show, specifically David Simon, the creator of the show, who worked strenuously on making a show that was filled with so much detail. If you look at David Simon himself, he himself is a reporter. He worked tirelessly on creating this show by working in the city of Baltimore by learning about the war on drugs firsthand. And a lot of the researchers on this show have a background in police work and in journalism. And it's very, very interesting. And I absolutely love it. I love what this show did to really bring a deep realization of the war on drugs that really wasn't being shown at the time. David Simon hired not just professional screenwriters, he hired professional writers. He hired writers that are famous for writing fiction stories on crime. And you get people such as the author of Mystic River writing episodes of this show, and they all bring this depth of realism into this show that is really amazing that it all works. And I think that's what makes this show stand out from all the other shows coming out at the time. It is a subversion of the typical genre of, you know, crime drama. It is telling a realistic portrayal. Many of the characters that we see in this show are based on or inspired by real people, and they even hire actors that are from the city of Baltimore itself. And it all brings this feeling of realism to this show that you don't see in many other cop dramas or shows in general. This is probably one of the most realistic shows I have ever seen. Its focus isn't on telling a gripping story such as Deadwood or Rome or other shows that were coming out at this time. It is very much almost like a PSA telling us about the war on drugs, and it does it wonderfully. Right off the bat, while watching this show, you realize that the war on drugs goes deeper than you would originally think. You think that maybe you could just arrest all the drug dealers and the problem will be solved, but these people will eventually end up back on the streets, and the drug trade will continue on. And I think that's amazing. And you see the failure of that, especially in the first season that sets everything up. And you see throughout the show the themes that continue on from season to season. Like the first season deals with the war on drugs and how it is failing. And then season two develops it by showing the labor unions. The third season shows politics being brought into it all. We see from the fourth season the education system and how we are failing our youth and seeing how it changes them 
And that is very interesting. And of course, we get the fifth season that deals with the media. And each season gets these themes and really develops from that first season in a very interesting and thought-provoking way. I'm not lying when I say that The Wire is perhaps the most complex show that I have ever watched ever. And that is saying something. I've seen some pretty complex shows, but nothing on this level. In fact, I'm going to say that as I was watching this show, I was watching it in the wrong way. I was looking at it from an entertainment perspective. And really, the show is much more than just entertainment. It is extremely informative by giving this realistic portrayal with so many themes that it is something that should be looked upon and studied and thoroughly looked at. And I was just blowing through this show, looking at it as entertainment, but it is much more than that. And I think I really do need to sit down and watch it again and take it all in. I also love that this show doesn't have villains and heroes, really. I mean, we often think in cop dramas that the cops are the heroes, but we see that the cops and the politicians in this show are just as corrupt, if not more corrupt, than the people selling drugs who are doing it for other reasons than just, you know, to do the drug trade. There are reasons why they are getting into this that the show develops. And I love the realistic portrayal of all these characters. They feel so real and don't feel like characters within a television series. They feel like real people. And I think a lot of that has to do with the writing as a whole and that these are inspired by real people. That's not to say that there aren't standout characters in this show, specifically with McNulty, played by Dominic West, who does an excellent job in this series, really playing this kind of dirty and scummy cop that is also a bit lovable as well, but he has some problems along the way as well. And then also we have characters such as Omar, who many people consider to be one of the best characters ever put on television, and he is absolutely fantastic, but I absolutely love the character of Bubbles in this series, who is a heroin addict, and he's kind of this informant for the police, and I love his character in this show, and he is the one that really, truly has a character arc throughout the five seasons as we see him develop from a lowly heroin addict to somebody that is reforming into somebody else and changes along the way. And I think that is absolutely fantastic. It is a beautiful thing to watch and see develop. And ultimately, if you are watching this show to see something satisfying by seeing the bad guys get away. You do get that, but you get this feeling that the work is not done. The war on drugs is something that you can't just wipe away. It is continuous. You can't get rid of it. And it really shows throughout this show. And I think that is absolutely amazing. I love the character work in this show. I love the realistic portrayal of the war on drugs, the characters, the dialogue in this series. However, I can say that all this stuff is great. The themes, the dialogue, the characters, all this stuff makes it definitely one of the greatest television shows of all time. However, looking at it as a TV series, I think it's far from perfect, but it is a great, great show with great characters, great writing all together, and I love how things develop from season one into season five, but as a whole, if you are watching this show for entertainment, which I was, 
originally as until about season three when I realized what the show was truly, truly about and saw it differently. It is a show that is kind of hard to get into. As I said, it is one of the most complex shows I have ever watched. There are a lot of moving parts in this series, and it demands your full attention. If you are only passively watching the show, then you're not doing it right. You need to pay attention in this series to be able to truly understand it and get the full effect of the series because the show can be entertaining. However, it is a very slow series. It takes its time. You can truly see that it was written by novelists. There is so much detail packed into not only every episode, but literally every scene. It really feels like a novelist wrote this show and you can definitely tell with all the detail that is brought into it. It's a series that demands your attention. You need to pay attention and that requires a lot of, you know, patience because this series can be extremely slow, especially in the first season, which is honestly my least favorite season. It takes about five to six episodes to truly get into this investigation, but a lot of that time is setting up all these things, setting up the wire, setting up how it all works, and it's all these moving parts that eventually all work, and it ultimately becomes a very rewarding show by the end. But if you're a person that isn't into meticulous detail or is not into a series that takes its time and can be rather slow, then I can't really recommend this show. But if you are watching this show and you want to understand the war on drugs and how it affects the policemen, the drug dealers, and the families that are involved in it. I think this is a great show to watch to understand this. I think the right people were working on this show. There is great detail. There is great work just done on every conceivable level. And I think it truly is one of the greatest shows of all time. But sadly, I don't think it is one of my favorite shows of all time. But I think I do need to sit back and watch this series again, knowing what I know now after the halfway point of this series, and go back in those early episodes and see how it all works together. I'm going to give The Wire an 8 out of 10. Well, guys, if you are interested in The Wire, I do say check it out. But as I said, if this isn't your thing, then I don't think it's going to win you over. But I still think this is a very important series that should be seen and shown and just talked about because there is a lot of stuff in this show to unpack and it does so much right. The characters are great. The story is very interesting. All the little details add up and mean something in the end. But thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. And as always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next review.